Hello everyone, in this video we'll see what is cryptography and we'll get familiar with various terms terms and terminologies we use in cryptography. Alright. So cryptography. What is cryptography? The word cryptography means it's a study of um, how to make secure communication in the presence of adversaries. Secure communication in the presence of adversaries. So what is an example for this? Mm, in, in the real world, let's say um, you want to communicate something, but you don't want uh, the person looking at you to know. Mm, the best example would be like, uh, let's say you are uh, writing an exam and I'm not endorsing cheating, but if two, two students are cheating, all right, they're writing an exam and there is an invigilator who is very vigilant about not cheating. And there are two people cheating. And let's assume it's a multiple choice question. It is one, two, like first question A, B, C, D. And this person asks this person, what is the answer to the first question? A, B, C, D. We have four choices, right? And they previously have communicated that if I keep my hand over mm, the head like this, it's A, this is B, this is C, something like that. They pre-shared some information and based on that, now they can communicate, right? So, even if the invigilator sees that they're making such actions, the invigilator cannot figure out what is going on. So that's the same with uh, cryptography. Let's say you are connected to your friend's Wi-Fi and he has access to all the router packets. Now you do something such that even if your friend gets all your packets, even if your friend gets all your packets, he sees ciphers, but not he cannot figure out anything from that packets. So that's the basic essence of cryptography. Now we'll look at some of the traditional uh, ciphers that are used. So whatever your friend sees, whatever this action is, this is called a ciphered, ciphered text. It is converted in such a way that it is uh, not, we're not able to make sense of it. So this idea is not new, it's been used since long, very long before. It is said that Julius Caesar communicated with his uh, ministers through ciphers, with the additive cipher, cipher of plus 3. We'll see what addit additive cipher, ciphers are. So first of all, we'll understand a few terminology, terminologies. The first terminology is ciphers. I told you it's encrypted text, which we cannot figure out what the real text is without having the key. Now let's figure out what the key is. So in our previous example, these two people were communicating based on hand gestures, right? This hand gestures, so if you keep like this, it means A. The first hand gesture means A, second hand gesture means B, third hand gesture means C. Some way of decrypting this information is called a key. So in, in terms of real world, let's say, let's say you have the word, hello. And you, this A wants to send hello to B, but A, A doesn't want some D to see what is going on. He he doesn't mind that uh, he's saying something, but he doesn't want to know D to know what exactly he's sending. So what A and B do is, without D watching, when D is not watching, they make a key saying that if I say if I say A, that means something if i say b that means something else if i say c that means let's not make it linear let's say k, k. Mm, yeah it means x now it means k it means c or d let's some some en encoding right and similarly h means let's say um m and E means B 
L L at O. L means let's say C C and O means S. So now A says to B M B C C S. This is what C A says to B, and they have previously uh, exchanged the key that this is the key. This is the table for decrypting. Decrypt this using this and you figure out the information so that only you know it and whoever is watching will not know it. So this is this example. This is called a substitution cipher. Substitution. That is we are substituting one letter for any one of them using a predefined table, right? So this is called a substitution cipher. So for decrypting, we search for M in the bottom block. We search for M and M means H. So B does what B does is B says H and B means E. C means L. S means O. So from this, it is easy for you to decrypt with this table, but without this table, we don't have clue of what is going on. We just know that it is a word of five letters, right? So that is the main use of ciphers. Now let's uh, look at one more thing. Uh, it is called an additive cipher. Additive cipher. Here, what happens is, um, we have twenty six letters in the alphabet, right? A, B, C, etc., and up to Z. Then we map, uh, and this is uh, mapped with numbers, and we have till twenty five. All right. We say it is an additive cipher of plus three. Plus three is fine. All right. So to encode hello. What you say is you shift three letters H I J K so E F G H L M N O M N O and O P Q R R so K H O O R can you figure out this is uh, hello from without knowing this plus three we cannot. But if we know the if you know if we know what plus uh, this is encoded using plus three, then we can easily say we okay, shift three characters back. So three shifted is H, and this is E, and this is L, L and O. So we can figure out what it is. So this is additive cipher, this is substitution cipher, and we have something else called transposition cipher. Transposition cipher is uh, pretty. Um, uh, it's a it's a clever way of doing things. Instead of substituting for each and every letter, which is really difficult and um, time consuming, the key is very big. What we do is, we say, we make a table and we say shift third letter to one, fourth letter to uh, five, then first letter to second. Second letter to fourth and fifth letter to third. So in the word hello, what we do is we say third letter to first. Okay, L. Then fourth letter to fifth. L. Then first letter to second. Then second letter to fourth. Fifth letter to third. What is that fifth letter? So, so the word, the encrypted word means L F O E L. This is hello, right? So this is also a way of um, encrypting your uh, encrypting your communication. Um. So you might ask, what happens if there are more than five letters? Now what we do is, let's say it is hello world. Now what we do is we bend the word. We say H E L L O W O R L D. We have the uh, transposition table. Using this table, we can encrypt. We'll say 
third letter to first third letter to first and l and r goes first and fourth letter to fifth position so fourth to fifth first letter to second position so h and w second letter to fourth position so e and o second letter fifth letter to third position o and d so now we will transmit this and based on the uh, this this key anyone can decrypt anyone can decrypt only if you give this key right so yeah that's it for traditional ciphers this is how they encrypted text long before so yeah so we'll we'll recap it once so we were talking about cryptography cryptography is the uh, secure communication in the presence of adversaries we always assume that we are pessimistic we always assume that someone is hearing us someone is listening to us someone is seeing us what we are doing so we'll try to be uh, as cryptic as possible so we saw an example uh, where the key is pre-shared and now the communication is uh, obfuscated obfuscated to the observer all right now we saw some traditional way of uh, encrypting things using uh, traditional ciphers so first was substitution each letter had a substitution letter and using that we can encrypt things and then we also looked at additive ciphers which shifted a few letters and then we encrypted it then we also had something called transposition cipher so yeah when you do something programmatically this can be assumed as this is some text right so some text what you do is you pass it through a function a box and what comes out is encrypted text or uh, I'll, I'll write it in the new page let's say you have x and which is plain text you put it inside a box which gives out some encrypted text this you can show to anyone no one will be able to uh, get back x from this but they will be able to once you share the key so key you have to provide the key so this is the algorithm and you give the key to encrypt you give the key to decrypt so that is basically the idea of uh, encryption now we use the same key for encryption as well as decryption right so this is called asymmetric key encryption uh, I spelled it wrongly that's called a symmetric key encryption all right the if if there are two keys used one key used for encrypting and one key used for decryption then it is called an asymmetric encryption all right so yeah that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one thank you